how's it going everyone so ios 26 beta 5 is officially released in this video we're going to go ahead and check it out but for the apple carplay side of things and see what's new and what apple changed and see if they finally added the youtube streaming airplay ability so all that and more in this video and i'll be sure to include timestamps of everything in the description down below for your pleasure so along with this update we also received the beta version for the apple watch as well tv os vision os mac os and of course ipad os so here it is, install it on our device. Nothing else has really changed from what I've seen. I have noticed if you launch the music app, there's a new splash screen, which got me excited thinking there's a new terms and condition for uh, the possibility to finally have the ability to stream YouTube on your infotainment screen on your vehicle. Unfortunately, based from my experience, I have been unsuccessful to actually use this feature. You see, how it originally was supposed to work is you'll still be able to watch your videos on your phone, right? And right here on the AirPlay icon, by tapping here, this little window will pop up, select CarPlay. And so long as your vehicle is in park and utilizing the internal sensors like the gyroscope and stuff that our iPhones have, it's able to determine if your vehicle is truly in a stationary position. And when it is, you'll be able to stream media from your phone, from YouTube, and watch it all right here on your screen. I thought Beta 5 will be able to give us that ability. Unfortunately, it's not here yet, which is a darn shame. But some things I have noticed that is slightly improved and tweaked is the incoming calls. Incoming calls now has a small window on the side. But it gives you access to end the call and stuff like that. And I also noticed that incoming text messages has also been tweaked as well. But while continuing to use Apple CarPlay, I noticed even though Apple Music was the first app that actually got a massive overhaul in terms of like a lot of music libraries here, very similar to like your iPhone, you can also pin some of these too. In case you don't know how to pin it, I'll include the timestamps of the little quick tutorial on how you can do that, but you can still pin stuff here. But this isn't what I want to mainly show you. You see, if you go into third party music streaming apps now, like YouTube Music as an example, it takes full advantage of this new redesign, which I really do appreciate. It's not limited whatsoever because now if we actually go into a library tab, this is how it looks like, giving us more categories like it is on our iPhone than ever before, where previously it was just a simple tab like the homepage and that was it in the library where you could see your playlist and that was all. But now it's slightly better organized, even Sirius XM in case you're listening to like online satellite radio. You have this like multiple different tab ability now, which I greatly appreciate. Now, even though my vehicle is a standard like single DIN, double DIN, I guess type of style instrument screen, uh, on beta one of iOS 26 for Apple CarPlay, I had the ability to use two widgets. Unfortunately, uh, that is uh, still the same, which is a darn shame. I'm hopeful that beta six will give us the ability to run two widgets, but as of right now, still we only have access to one widget and yes we did receive new widget support for not only third-party apps but also native ones from apple as now you can actually see other stuff like what you could see right here like some of my notes i was taking when i just immediately started a car the news call messages and stuff like that you can now see your notes right here on apple carplay pretty handy especially for like quick reminders in case you need it but even the Apple TV uh, app, for some reason, has a widget here, which leads me to believe I could just click here and watch Apple TV. But unfortunately, not yet. So it seems like, but this does definitely does give us the hint that other apps will soon be able to also take advantage of the AirPlay ability. Well, it's AirPlay, so we should have that ability. But this is like a little teaser on what's coming up next. At least I hope. Now, in terms of wallpapers, if you missed my previous video, in beta 4, Apple removed some of the classic wallpapers, and we look back, it's still not here. We have the new design ones in the very different color choices to choose from, but the classic ones that we all know and love from previous OS betas, or previous OS updates, I should say, or operating systems in general, we knew, no longer have those old school classic ones, but I guess they gave us the original black one if we just want, want to have a simple black layout but you'll have like three different shades of gray which is interesting nonetheless backing out of here nothing else has changed here 
Uh, I do have a quick question, though, because, uh, let me see if I can find it. In the accessibility, I noticed these columns are now put together. I'm not sure if that's a new feature or if it's just throwing me off because I'm using the new purple wallpaper. But these are now together, but in terms of new features here, nothing has been added or anything like that. Voice control is exactly the same. Color filtering is ex exactly the same, including all the way to the very bottom on sound recognition. We only have car horn, siren, and previously added on iOS 26, the baby crying detection. Uh, that's practically it, unfortunately. As your icons, when it comes to customized icons, it still is the same ones. Nothing new or crazy out of the ordinary there. You still have the ability to back tap or tap back to react to text messages. The phone app also remains the same, giving us the actual number dial, which is quite nice and handy. Then when it comes to these live activities, you can still long hold to uh, clear it from this device to give you a cleaner layout so it doesn't take up that much space. If you have multiple activities, you can, you can slide switch between the other ones as well, or just long hold to clear them all. Nothing new there. Then when using Apple Maps, unfortunately, the pinch and zoom still works on some vehicles, but if we set directions to somewhere, as an example, let's just do this real quick, Ashley's Furniture, hit go. Uh, massive drawback is I still don't have the ability to do it when I'm navigating. I still have to rely on the plus and negative icons right here just to zoom in and zoom out. Massive dis uh, miss opportunity right there. You can still do this though to minimize the uh, screen if you don't want that icon to be that big if you're limited on your vehicle display i guess that's kind of cool but again it's not anything crazy or revolutionary so as promised this is how you could pin your albums on your library it's actually extremely easy just you do need to take out your phone because what you got to do is launch the music app on your smartphone and once you launch it in the same library tab as it is on your apple carplay long hold on these existing ones and you have the ability to pin or unpin so i'm going to start from scratch again you could do playlist music or dedicate a song just long hold on one of them until you get to this menu and on top where it says pin playlist and that's oops i guess i reached my max i'm gonna go ahead and clear one real quick i want to clear this one and now i'm gonna go ahead and pin this one and if you notice in real time, it actually does update. And that's how you could create some custom playlists you have quick access to, just like that. Unfortunately, this wasn't an exciting update, but nonetheless, now you know what's new and what got added recently on the beta 5 of iOS 26. If you discover something that I might have overlooked, feel free to comment down below. I'll be sure to post pin you in the comic section on top for the rest of us to also know. But from my personal experience, from based off everything we've seen right now, Apple unfortunately didn't add much during this update, which means we are closer to the final release date, which is September. So now we are in August. We have literally just under two months left until the official version is out. But again, hopefully beta 6 actually gives us the ability to finally stream YouTube or other video sources onto our video display, giving older models like we have here modern day CarPlay features at no additional costs. And anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy these updated videos. I'll be sure to continue updating you guys throughout the other beta updates. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And I hope that timestamps in the description down below also help you out a lot. And you'll know if something really interesting got added. And for those who watched the rest of the video, really appreciate you guys. You guys are MVPs. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. But real quick, if you wish to watch more, I highly recommend checking out that video over there where I highlight all the new changes that got added on WatchOS 26. And the video down there is something that's not as covered as it should be is the new changes that got added on Apple TV because there actually is a lot on TVOS 26. Thank you once again for watching.